Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the FIC KT748 motherboard. What is included in this package is an IO shield plate, a floppy cable, an 80 pin IDE ribbon cable. You also get two extra firewire ports and two extra USB 2 ports, some drivers, the manual, and the motherboard. This motherboard is based upon the SIS748 chipset and it supports the AMD Athlon XP, Athlon and Duron processors as well as supporting a front side boss of 200, 266, 333, 400 MHz. Right here is where you install the CPU. You can install up to 3 GB of DDR memory and remember that this board does not support dual channel memory. Right here is the floppy controller, the regular IDE controllers, and by the way, this does support Ultra DMA 66, 100, and 133. Five PCI slots, one AGP slot, there are two power connections, one right here, and one right here, and three fan headers, one right here, here, and here. Right here are the PS2 ports for the keyboard and the mouse, the serial ports, the parallel port, four USB 2 ports, the LAN port, and the audio. Within the advanced BIOS features, you can enable or disable the CPU internal cache, the external cache. You can also select the first boot, second boot, and third boot devices, and so on. Within the advanced chipset features, you can go in here and tweak the memory options. You can go by SPD, or you can select up to 200 megahertz. You can also go into a performance mode, and you can also adjust the CAS latency. Within the integrated peripherals part of the BIOS is where you can go to enable and disable things like the onboard USB, the onboard firewire, the onboard audio, and so on. Within the PC health status part of the BIOS is where you can go to view the CPU temperature, the system temperature, the fan speeds, and all of the different voltages. Within the frequency voltage control part of the BIOS is where overclockers like to go to tweak their CPU. Normally in here you'd find voltage increases for the CPU, the memory, as well as the video card. However, there's not a whole lot offered in this particular BIOS. All you get in here really is a CPU frequency which goes up to 200 and 10 megahertz but remember without any kind of CPU voltage increase you're not going to be able to overclock your CPU very high at all. The 3D Mark 03 result is 3,202. The Aqua Mark 3 result is 14,209. These are the settings used in the Quake 3 Arena demo, a video mode of 1024 by 768 at 32 bit. Geometric detail is at high, texture detail is at max, texture quality is 32 bit, and the texture filter is trilinear. And the result is 150.1 frames per second. At a screen resolution of 1024 by 768, the Unreal Tournament 2003 benchmark results are the flyby is 166 and the bot match is 68. I've used all the default settings in the XS mark except for a screen resolution of 1024 by 768 at 32 bit and the result is 7326 the PC Mark 2002 results are the CPU score is 5,883, the memory score is 4,914, and the hard drive score is 1,127. The Sci Software Sandra CPU result is 7,221. The CPU multimedia result is 10,372. The hard drive score is 28,533. And the memory result is 2,538. Clearly this is not a product for overclockers. There's simply not a lot of overclocking options in the BIOS. However, if you're looking for an inexpensive product that pretty much has it all, excluding dual channel memory support, it is very inexpensive, stable, and performs fairly well. Overall, this product has great value. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com and while you're there you can go to the forums and register and remember registration is completely free. Also keep in mind you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. Until the next time, take care.